new headset. <laughs> but anyway, hello. My girlfriend introduced me to your videos and suggested that I submit my own story to you. Though it doesn't involve anime weebs in particular, I apologize if it's kind of long. Girl, you know I- or boy. I love any kind of story that involves conventions. Don't be afraid to send me any kind of story. I love reading them anyway. I was in my last year of high school, and it was my first full convention ever. I spent a lot of time with my mom's sewing machine making my first cosplays which included Canada from Italia, Maka from Soul Eater, and Tardis from Doctor Who. Unfortunately though, I had been in a car accident two weeks prior to the convention, and suffered some bad whiplash, and still in constant pain by the time the con had come. But I was really excited for the convention and couldn't wait to get there. First day of the con, I was cosplaying Canada from Italia, just wandering around the convention, eventually going to a photo shoot. This may be a surprise, but the photo shoot turned out to be the best part of the convention, and some of those friends are still my closest family four years later. It was the next day cosplaying the TARDIS that things began to stir up. When I got to the Doctor Who photo shoot, I heard someone call my name from the crowd of Italians, which made me stop. I didn't know anyone at the con but my new Italia buddies, and I knew they weren't at the photo shoot. Out from the crowd comes a guy I had never seen, cosplaying as the Raggedy Doctor. Coming straight up to me, he hugs me without asking for permission, and I hear my back crack. I had to stop myself from screaming, I was in so much pain. And I eventually got him to let go after saying, Stop, stop, I'm hurt, let me go. Let me reinstate, I have no idea who this guy is. I had never seen him before in my life, and I have no idea how he knew my name. It wasn't until later in the photo shoot I learned that when I had posted on the Doctor Who photo shoot page that I was attending, he had seen my name and decided it was a good idea to just hug a random girl he had never met before and then proceed to leave, not leave her alone for the rest of the photo shoot. Thankfully, I was able to slip away after that and leave him in the dust. Or so I thought. Later that day, I was wandering around trying to find my new friends when I hear my name being called from across the con center. I turn around and, who is it other than the raggedy doctor and this time with a Haku from a Naruto cosplayer, and another person I don't remember. I tried to just wave and move on, but I was trapped as all three of them surrounded me and gave me a tight hug. This time I couldn't hold back the sound and I almost screamed in pain as I begged them to let go of me. Thankfully they realized I was in pain and let go, but not before Haku and the Raggedy Doctor both kissed my cheeks. The fuck? Why were they kissing a person they had never met? I was incredibly uncomfortable and in a lot of pain, so I used that as an excuse to leave as I went to find my people and try not to cry because I hurt so badly. The final day, I was determined to make things better. I was cosplaying Maka, and was with my con family and everything would be better. But as we're walking together at the con center, I see none other than the Raggedy Doctor walking towards us. I'm 17, and pink, and it. So I instinctively the hand of my con brother, who's 2P America, and hide behind him as we walk. He asks me if this is the guy I told them about the other day, and I say yes. An important detail, 2P America has a baseball bat with nails in it. An important detail, because my brother, very angry at this guy, begins to stomp towards him, nailed bat in hand, ready to swing at this guy, prop weapon or not. Holding his hand, I pulled him back, but I think the sight of an almost six-foot guy stomping towards him scared the ever-living shit out of this guy, as he didn't dare get near me for the rest of the day. Convention saved. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. If you want to see more similar content, feel free to click any of the videos that are on screen now. And don't forget to put a like because it really helps my channel a lot. And if you really like my video and my content, don't forget to hit subscribe as well as that little bell icon. Because then that will help notify you for whenever I upload any other videos. Anyway, thanks for watching.